welcome back. This is part two of the Puffs and Pico bandana cowl video tutorial. As you can see in part one, we worked rounds one through 22 and created our initial triangle. Now we're going to join the two corners and start working down in the round, working rounds 23 through 29. So when you finished row 22, you would have ended with the wrong side facing you. That's how you want it right now. You just take these two top corners and keep your hook on your loop here, or your loop on your hook. <laughs> and then you find the first stitch. Now the first stitch is the third chain of this chain three here. And you want to insert your hook through that first stitch and then just slip stitch. And now you've joined your corners together. And after you've done that, we're going to turn our work because we're going to continue adding a few more rows to the outside of this cowl. Although now, since we're working in the round, we're going to call them rounds. So round three begins like this. First, we're going to chain three. And then we're going to put another double crochet into the first stitch, which is where we chained from, which is this stitch here. So there's now two double crochets in that stitch. Come back here. There you are. Then we're going to place two double crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to double crochet in each of these stitches until we come to the other, to the point, which is the chain two. I'm going to speed up the video here, but feel free to press pause and come on back once you've worked that double crochet into each stitch up to the chain two. All right, now that we're at the chain two, we're going to place two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets all in this chain two space. Okay, and now we're going to double crochet in each stitch until all of the stitches have been worked. Okay, and now that we've worked a double crochet into each stitch to the ends, we're going to join to the first stitch, which is the top of this chain three, since that counts as the first double crochet. We'll just slip stitch into there. And then, you can't forget this step, we're supposed to switch slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay, great. Now that is round 23 completed. You should have 140 stitches plus a chain two. And now for round 24, we're going to turn and we're going to chain four. That counts as your first double crochet plus a chain one. And starting in the same stitch, the first stitch that you chained from, you're going to work your first forked cluster. And then you're going to chain two. And now starting in the next stitch, you're going to work a forked cluster 
and then chain two again. And that is the basic pattern. You're going to repeat that all the way down until you get come to one stitch before the chain two. Be sure to pause the video here and take your time and make sure that you don't make your chains too tight. Okay, so we've worked our fork cluster and chain twos across. And we have one stitch left before the chain two. Now we're going to work an, our next fork cluster into this last stitch and into the chain two space. All right, and now we're going to chain three and we're going to work our next forked cluster into the chain two space and the next stitch. And now we're going to chain two and work, work our next forked cluster starting in the next stitch. Okay, and that is the basic pattern. You're going to, to repeat that until all of the stitches have been worked. Okay, so we've worked our last forked cluster. All of our stitches have been worked. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to place a double crochet in that last stitch, which is also where the last part of your last fork cluster would fall. And then you're going to slip stitch to join to the first stitch. Now, your first stitch is the third chain of this chain four, which is a little bit hard to see. So what I do is I just find the bottom chain and I count from there. One, two, three. And then it's the chain one. You don't want to slip stitch there. You want to slip stitch into the third chain. There. And that is round 24 completed. You should have 144 stitches plus your chain three. And those 144 stitches include 48 of the forked clusters. And now on to round 25. We're going to turn. And we're going to chain three. Now you're going to place another double crochet in that first stitch where you just chained from. So that's two double crochets in the first stitch. Then you're going to place two double crochets in the next stitch. And now you're going to double crochet in each stitch and chain space until you come to the chain three. Now remember these chain one spaces, they receive one double crochet. The top of the fork cluster receives one double crochet and each chain two space receives two double crochets.
Okay, so now we've come to this chain three space. We're going to place three double crochets, chain two, and then three more double crochets into that chain three space. Okay, now we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to double crochet in each stitch and chain, chain space until all of the stitches and chain spaces have been worked. Okay, we're coming up to the last few stitches here. Slip cluster. Now don't forget about this chain one space over here. You have to put a double crochet in that one as well. Okay. So all of our stitches and chain spaces have been worked. Now we're just going to slip stitch to our first stitch, which is the top of this chain three. And then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. All right. And that is round 25 completed. You should have 152 stitches plus your chain two. And now for round 26, we're going to turn and chain one. Now you're going to place two half double crochets in your first stitch. Okay. And then you're going to half double crochet in each stitch until you come to the chain two. Okay, and once you come to this chain two space, you're going to place two half double crochets, chain two, and then two more half double crochets into this chain two space. And now you're going to half double crochet in each of these stitches until you have one stitch left before the end of the round. Okay, so we've placed a half double crochet in each stitch. We have one stitch left. You're going to place two half double crochets in this stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. And that is round six completed. You should have 158 stitches plus your chain two. And now for round 27, we're going to turn and chain one. And this round is worked in the back loop only. We're going to place two half double crochets in the first stitch in the back loop only. 
then we're going to place two half double crochets in the next stitch in the back loop only. And now we're going to half double crochet in each stitch until you come to the chain two space. And remember, you're staying in the back loop only. All right, we're coming up on the chain two space here. Remember that this last half double crochet, the top looks a little bit like a chain, but it's not. This is a half double crochet. You can tell because it falls above the bottom of this half double crochet stitch. These two here, those are your chains. So one more right here. And then once you're at this chain two space, you're going to place two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet in the chain two space. Okay. And now you're going to half double crochet in each stitch until all the stitches have been worked. Don't forget you're working in the half in the back loop only. I almost forgot. Okay, and now that we've worked a half double crochet into each remaining stitch, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. There. And that is round 27 completed. You should have 164 stitches plus your chain two space. And now for round 28, we're going to turn. And you're going to chain four. And that counts as your first double crochet plus chain one. And now we're going to place our first forked cluster starting in the first stitch. And then you're going to chain two. And now starting in the next stitch, you're going to work a fork cluster and then chain two. And that is the basic pattern, forked cluster, then chain two. You're going to work that pattern until you come to one stitch before the chain two space. Okay, we now have one stitch left before the chain two space. We're going to work our next fork cluster into that stitch and into the chain two space.
and then you're going to chain three and you're going to work your next fork cluster into the chain two space and then into the next stitch And now you're going to chain two and you're going to work your next fork cluster starting in the next stitch. And that is the basic pattern, chain two and then forked cluster. You're going to work that until you've, wor until you've worked um, every stitch. Okay, and now that all of the stitches have been worked, we're going to chain one and we're going to place another double crochet in this last stitch. And now you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch, which is the third chain of this chain four. Okay, and that is round 28 completed. You should have 168 stitches plus your chain three, and that includes 56 forked clusters. Okay, now for round 29. This will be the last round for this bottom piece, and it's where we add that nice little detailing along the edges. So you're gonna turn and chain one. Then you're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then you're going to single crochet into the next nine stitches. So one and don't forget you're single you're also single crocheting into the chain spaces. So there's one here. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we've come up to another chain two space here. In this chain two space, you're going to place a half double crochet, a double crochet. You're going to do a chain four picot then you're going to do another double crochet and another half double crochet all in this chain two space. Sounds like a lot, but don't worry, we're going to go slow. So first we'll half double crochet, then we'll double crochet. You're going to do a chain four pico. Now, if you don't know how to do that, that's it's super simple. You just chain four, and then you go back and you slip stitch through this first chain and that forms a little pico. And now we'll do another double crochet and another half double crochet. Okay. And then you're going to single crochet into the next seven stitches and chain spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is the basic pattern. You're going to keep repeating that until there's only three stitches left 
before your chain two space. So we're going to run through this little part one more time for you. In this chain two space, we'll half double crochet, double crochet, chain four picot, double crochet, and half double crochet. And then single crochet in the next seven. Feel free to pause and rewatch this part as many times as you need. I wrote the pattern and I even have trouble memorizing it. Okay, so now we have three stitches left before this chain three space. Now, bear with me because I'm reading the pattern while I say this out loud. I can't memorize this part. <laughs> okay, so in the next chain two space, you're going to place two half double crochets and one double crochet. Then you're going to place two double crochets in the next stitch. And then now working into the chain three space, we're going to work three double crochets. A treble crochet then a chain four pico then another treble crochet and then three more double crochets. Great. Give that a little tug just to kind of center it out. And now you'll place two double crochets in this next stitch. And then one double crochet and two half double crochets in this next chain two space. Whew. Okay, now that we have that point done, we're going to continue with a mirror image of our side pattern here, these little guys. So we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches and chain spaces one two three four five six seven and then we're going to continue making our small points the half double crochet double crochet, chain four pico, double crochet, half double crochet in this stitch. The chain two space, I mean. Okay. So you're going to repeat that pattern, the seven single crochets in this point until all of the stitches have been worked.
Okay, so you've worked your final point and your last seven sing single crochets. And there's one stitch left unworked. That's this chain one space here. I'm just going to throw one more single crochet in there. And then you're going to slip stitch into your first stitch. So now the bottom part of your cowl is finished and you can bind off. And that is it for part two. When you're ready, head on over to part three where we will build up the neck portion of our cowl.